Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both of the 19th Hole, and we're here today to talk about the new upcoming tournament uh, for Playdemic. This tournament will start on June 25th, and it is the Football Fever Tournament. And uh, this one is going to coincide with the upcoming World Cup. And uh, that would also explain why Playdemic released all those cool new balls. Um, if you haven't done so yet, check them out. You can buy them in a package. Or if you don't want to buy a ton of them, you can buy uh, packs of nine for 500 gems. Or if you go into a one-on-one -on -one match and click on your ball section there, you can purchase them one at a time for 100 gems a piece. So if you are a ball collector and you just don't want to spend a lot of gems, you can buy one at a time. So without fur any further ado, uh, let's move on to the next page, which is uh, talking about the prizes. Um, the prizes have not changed for this tournament. Um, everything has remained the same in each of the four levels. The only thing that will change is the look of the banner. Um, See if we can zoom in a little bit. It looks like a soccer ball. Pretty cool looking banner. Um, and the tournament will be the same way as it always has been on June 25th, which is a Monday. Qualification will start, and you will have three different days to qualify. So if you fail to qualify Monday, you can try again on Tuesday. If you fail on Tuesday, you can try again Wednesday. And that will be your final day to qualify. If you don't qualify there, you're out of the tournament. So some people do like to take those first day or two days to practice the course. Um, but when you do that, you really do run the risk of failing to qualify that third day uh, if something does happen. Um, so, if you qualify, you don't play again until Thursday, Friday, which is the opening round. Uh, at that point, you're put into a bracket of 100, and the top 50 people from uh, that bracket will move on to the weekend round. Um, and then on the weekend round, um, the top 10 will get a specialized banner. And, of course, the top three get bronze, silver, and then gold for first place, plus the prizes. And the prizes do scale down um, on the weekend round, depending on the place you finish. Um, and that is viewable in the game in on the prize tab. So, let's move on to our next uh, topic of conversation, which is, what holes will we see on the Football Fever Tournament? Uh, this tournament is going to be comprised of three different courses. So what they did is they took three holes off of three different courses. Vineyard Acres, Sakura Hills, and Santa Ventura. Um, these are all courses that have been uh, featured in previous tournaments. Um, the Santa Ventura was in the Hollywood tournament. We had the Sakura Hills was in the TD tournament. And then Vineyard Acres was in the Winter Games tournament. Um... So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the different holes we have to play. Uh, Vineyard Acres, hole number one, par four. Uh, Vineyard Acres, hole uh, number two is a par three. We have Sakura Hills, which is a par five, and that'll be hole three. Uh, Vineyard Acres, hole number four, par five. Uh, hole number five is Sakura Hills, par three. Hole number six is Sakura Hills, par four. Hole number seven is Santa Ventura, par number three. And then Santa Ventura, eight, par four. And Santa Ventura, nine, par five. Um, and these holes can be found and playable um, on different tours. You can play them on the Asia Pacific Tour, which is tours three and eight. Uh, and you can find holes three, five, and six of the tournament, those uh, tours. Uh, and also you can find the rest of the holes on the West Coast Pro Tour, which is tour seven. Holes 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, and 9. So uh, if you are a rookie, you are only going to get to play and practice three of the holes. Um, unless Playdemic has made some sort of changes that I don't know about. Um, and if you're playing pro, um, you can practice all the holes on tours 7 and 8. So rookies, tours 3, pros 7 and 8. And there are no practice holes for the um, upper um, expert and the... Um, masters. I guess you could say 7 and 8 would be expert as well. Um, so yeah, pro and expert 7 and 8, rookie 3. Masters do not have a chance to practice. <clears throat> the holes that you do see on the tours will be different than what the holes you are seeing in the tournament. So I'm going to go over that real quickly. Um, for the Santa Ventura holes, uh, hole 7 in the tournament is actually hole number 4 on tour. Hole number 8 and 9 are 8 and 9 on tour. So those ones are a little bit easier. Uh, Sakura, hole number 3 in the tournament is actually hole number 9 on tour. Hole number 5 in the tournament is hole number 5 on tour. And hole number 6 in the tournament is hole number 2 on tour. 
For the Vineyard Acres, hole number one in the tournament is hole number seven on tour. Hole number two is number six on tour, and hole number four is number four on tour. So jot those numbers down so that when you are playing on tour seven, eight, and three, um, and those actual courses do come up, you can kind of um, match those holes to what hole it is in the tournament. Um, because a lot of the holes that you will play in practice uh, on those tours will not be holes in the tournament, so it will be good to actually know when you are seeing a tournament hole. Um, that is, if you don't just look at the holes and memorize which ones they are. But anyways, um, we will be doing an actual walkthrough guide, as always, for the uh, rookie and the pro. I will combine that this time. And then um, we will be playing a bunch of qualifying rounds. I definitely will be streaming. I am not on vacation this week or weekend, so you will see me back to my normal uh, streams, usually on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday, most likely, and then my weekend stream on Sunday. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do. And that's all I got for y'all. So if you haven't done so yet, and you are on Facebook, check us out at the 19th hole. All you have to do is join, log on to Facebook, put in Golf Clash the 19th hole in your search bar, and look us up on our community page. Um, if you're looking at this video right now, you, that means you are on my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Trying to get to a thousand, getting closer and closer every week. Um, definitely getting exciting um, as I get closer to a thousand. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to me to see me do more videos like this for each tournament, hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you have a suggestion on uh, some way I can improve this video for the next tournament, uh, also leave a suggestion there. Remember, this is not a video telling you how to play the holes. This is just a video to inform you on the upcoming tournament and what uh, to expect as far as the course and the format. So anyways, until next time, as always, happy golfing and God bless.